some clothing house. And as I was entering, I saw a dog coming from a park. And I knew very well that the dog was coming for me. Mm. So the three people, they were like, so we like, oh yeah, they hey, those people. Those uh, who do hydration and those, they were sitting down. They said, look at it, the dog is coming to bite you just. But their heads were up. When I said that, they bowed their head and everybody was, wow. was just doing what he was doing. They didn't care whether I'm bitten or not. And suddenly the dog just held my uh, my hand, and then the other side too. So I was able to squeeze the neck of the dog, and blood was coming. And the dog was uh, determined not to leave me. The more I was squeezing the dog, the dog was, and the stick was also deep in my head. So I remember this very hand. So I thought, I woke up suddenly, I thought maybe the blood would become because I saw blood in, in the dream. And as I was struggling with the dog, somebody who is not living in that house, a passerby, a tall man, a young man, but the elderly ones didn't care. When I said the dog was coming, but the young man, very tall, taller than Uncle Frank, and this man, I did not ask for help. Hmm, and he chill. quickly came and helped me take the dog off. Hallelujah. And the understanding I had was the state of the nation and the state of the church. People are so absorbed in what they are doing, they don't care about anyone. People are only thinking about what they are doing. Look at the people who are doing <coughs> and paying for, not young men. They were so, when I told them I have a problem, then that would be, they behave as if they, they, they saw the dog struggling with me. But thank God, I was able to overcome the dog. Yeah. I was, who is the dog? Blood was coming from the mouth, black and white dog. And thank God, God brought also somebody, you see, God will bring your helper from a place you don't even think. Hallelujah. Not that you think, maybe you think people in your church, people around you, people in your nation, that is not how it's going to be. God is telling us that we should lift up our heads and look at other people. Mm -hmm. We are so concerned, we are so absorbed in what we are doing. When somebody even is suffering, he needs help. We, 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 we don't even care. It took somebody who was just passing by to come and help me. And you know, in doing God's work, it's not an easy thing. People don't pray for pastors. They only want pastors to pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The more we pray for you, the more the enemy attacks us. Amen. My wife prayed for somebody some time back. And the demons from his own town came and said, you, is you a relative? Is you a relative? Are you from that area? It took some, I think, weeks. The one of God was losing. They had time because they have held this person captive for years. And he stood in for this person. And there and then, the question, uh, sorry, uh, that are you, uh, are, you uh, are you a family member? You come from that town. It happens to be myself. Sometimes I'll be praying for someone to ask me, Did is you a relative? He belongs to us. Where are you coming from? We have that every day. What hmm. we do, you think, is just, we, uh, 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 just ordinary. Hmm. When we pray for you, the powers affecting you, that you don't come to us. Hmm. Sometimes we, when we fall sick, people don't understand that. They attack us. That is why we need to pray for men of God. Instead of criticizing every day, I say men of God are God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to pray that that apathy, that self centeredness that has taken the better part of the church and the nation, when you tell
tell somebody you are in trouble. Come find out. And the Lord will say, break through, break through. Break through, I don't know. I don't know. Cast now one land up with three old fields. Believe everything. And once you are alive, you can use everything. You can have all the houses. We should think about one another. But we should pray for one another. We should be concerned about one another. Come and recover the very four million son. Who you have seen it? Take it, my dear. Come and help the coming. The coming is not a good sign. Mm. But thank God. So when I woke up, I squeezed this place as a law. I neutralize any poison. I neutralize any sickness in me. They want to they are introduced into me. Jesus. I speak mother, I said, I wash my system with the blood of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Paul said, We die daily. Huh. Because of you. Because of Christians, we die daily. Everybody belongs to a house. Everybody belongs to a family. And there are limits. That are placed upon every house. Yeah. The Bible says, How can one enter a strong man's house? Yes. Unless you find no hurt. You bind you him. Find a strong man. And you can only find the strong man when you are what? Stronger. stronger. Than a strong man. That's right. Strong, stronger, stronger. <laughs> Positive. Uh, you need comparative and superlative. Strong, stronger, stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn it? My guess are boys. Okay. So you should be stronger than the strong man before you be able to do what? To bind the strong man. And when you are entering a family to rescue somebody, they have placed undergo, they have done that, the person has challenged you marriage, the person has sickness that has lingered, and you pray for the person, the person you are in trouble. Mm. That is why you need pray for us every day. Because when you deliver the person, they come after you. Hmm. They come after you. I went to one place in Ghana. I don't 